Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Brett Keen. Not really in the mood to do a video where you see my face for the moment, so just bear with me. Today I'm going to talk about the world. I'm going to talk about what's in it. I'm going to talk about what's also happening around it. Within our world, we have people who have this belief, this idea, that they want to do good things. They want fairness. They want justice. They want reason. They want goodness. They want morality. Most people, they want absolute morality. They want the kind of morality that sticks. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not lie, etc. People want this, and I can understand why they would want absolute morals. They want a black and white world where there's just one strict setting of rules, one single perception. These people don't believe this because they want to control others. They don't believe this because they want to brainwash other people. In fact, a lot of people who have these kind of ideas are naturally decent people, good people, thinking people. Unfortunately, there's a lot of destroyers out there. There's a lot of people who take advantage of the system. There's a lot of people who abuse people's dreams and take advantage of their desires, their lusts, their wants. So what ends up happening is you have a lot of good people who find themselves in a bad situation. A lot of Christians find themselves in churches where they think they're doing good. They think that they're helping people out. And they don't realize that their preachers are just trying to push an agenda to make money off of them. But it's not just with Christians. And it's not just with Muslims. Muslims who are convinced that committing suicide or destroying themselves for their cause is somehow going to please their God. No, it's not just Muslims. And it's not just pagans who throughout history have been destroyed going back and forth between religions over and over. I can also see the same false hope and intensity even when you look at non-believers. There's a lot of non-believers out there who've been abused, who have suffered a lot of misery in their lives. I'm one of those atheists who suffered a lot of misery in my life. My wife has suffered a lot of misery in our life. And we try to do the best we can to survive in this cold, cruel world, just like everybody else. We try to pay our bills. We try to get through it. We try to smile whenever we feel like crying. This world is very difficult, ladies and gentlemen, especially for someone who is not rich, who's not famous, who's not some kind of celebrity who's going to be on TV or in the movies anytime soon. We all have our wants and we all have our desires. We've all been lied to. We've all had people break their promises. We've had people abandon us. We've had people reject us. We've had people betray us. So what can we do about all this? Unfortunately, we can't do anything. Just the fact that we live in a world where mostly it's dirty, rotten ass people who lie and cheat and steal and kill, we, this is what our world consists of. Most of the people who are good, who have a lot of good ideas, they're either too afraid to stand up for what it is they believe or what is right, or they hope that some kind of magical power will come and change it all. And I can understand that thought and idea too. I remember wishing a long time ago whenever I was going through the shit I was going through, some of the pain, suffering, and abuse. And also, I know what it's like nowadays whenever I'm suffering and I'm going through the bullshit that society throws at me for whatever reason or why. No rhyme, no reason. Whatever you want to call it. I understand why people want a God. I understand why people want to have hopes. I understand why it is that people cry out because they hope that something will happen. But unfortunately, it never will. The only way things can ever change, the only way things can ever get better, is if people better themselves. If people look in the fucking mirror 
and say, this is not what I want to be. I want to be a good person. I want it not just to shine within me, but to illuminate outside me. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who can't muster that kind of courage. It's going to seem like, in your perception, ladies and gentlemen, that the world is going to shit, as long as you just stand by and let the shit fall. I'm a, I just want to finish this video out with saying, I'm pretty tired, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty aggravated. I'm tired of seeing people who almost fit the definition of hero throughout history getting martyred, destroyed, killed. I'm tired of seeing people like Martin Luther King get assassinated. I'm tired of fucking politics and government screwing up our system and our society. I'm tired of the government pocketing all the money and leaving us all fucking hanging out to dry. I'm tired of YouTube and I'm tired of people who fucking stick bananas in their ass. I'm tired of liars. I'm tired of the thieves on YouTube. I'm tired of the slander. I'm tired of a lot of goddamn things, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to sleep for now. I'm going to relax. I'm going to take a breath. And then tomorrow I'll wake up and start again.